Angelo Petrakis at the X for Cornell. Jonathan Duhenio for Rutgers. Maryland really the only team left in the field that excels at faceoffs. Rutgers in the home whites as the higher seed had the opening face off. Cornell wins it back. And now the big red on attack. Mark. Set. 44th goal of the season for Bartolo. And he's going to cover that Harvard Rutgers first round game with the 5,000 fans afterward. Bartolo that he created with Cornell Lacrosse. I'll tell you, I've been around this game for almost 40 years. It's unmatched. Cornell Lacrosse is like a fraternity like no other. And he was at the center of it all. He always brought the generations together, and I've always been so impressed. Guys from the 70s know his guys from the 90s, and it's real different. All the curse are so strong, but his footwork and his acceleration off of that initial move is unmatched. What is she feeling? So we talked about Cornell's attack. Piatelli unassisted, Curse unassisted, Michael Long unassisted as advertised. Petrakis wins the first shot for Cornell. 15 of 19 last week against Delaware, but set 50% on the season. A flag down, so Cornell will go man up. And this a free possession the lefty slasher dodger in C.J. Kirst, and then the righty finisher, John Piatelli. This attack unit complements each other better than any unit out there. And Cornell today giving that unequivocally gets things going from a dodging perspective with the ability to feed and get teammates involved. Another face-off one by Cornell. Wayne continues to pound the field. Here it is, Tartford amongst these silvery vapors. Only the third goal of the season for Sheehan. Rutgers changes it up with a face-off back. Sam Stefan in there. And the Scarlet Knights over the win possession. Mitch Bartolo. Stefan wins the face off all the way to the turn, Sam Berlin. It's worked. Sam Stefan, two for two. <laughs> this one controlled by Cornell off the wings. It was Singer. Think about the best units nationally. From an attack perspective, the points are one thing. The relentless riders take the units from good to great. Now Rutgers, to your point, Clark, comes in as the best in his group. Anish, remember last week when they defended Sam Hanley? They had to play him up top a little bit more, not give him that running start. That's what they have to do against Hugh Kelleher. Rutgers wins a faceoff. That's been a struggle today. Just four out and it's a first half hat trick from Michael Long. Duhenio, save Erwin. Adler cleans up the rebound. Oh, was critical. When I spoke to the Cornell staff, they obviously liked what they saw on film. They said they own the middle of the field. They need to do that in the second half to beat a Rutgers team that typically does own the middle of the field. Cornell has won the ground ball battle decisively. They've controlled the face-offs as well. And still, yeah, I, I would not put a pole on Knobloch right now. He, he, he in no shape or form can penetrate to the goal on himself. He's out there for his outside shooting and mid-range shooting right now. If you're Cornell, you've got to recognize that and watch warm-ups. I don't know if she's still in the stands. I'm sure she is. Listed as a sophomore, Kirst is a first-year player, I believe rookie of the year. But Busek, and we knew, they knew what they, they got, and this kid brings it to practice every single day of the week. 
Boswell, the Bucknell transfer, picks it up for Rutgers. Can you look, every time he leans that left shoulder, when he's getting down the right alley, the defender is backpedaling, loses his ground, loses his balance, and then he gets his hands free. Uh, Carl Kirshen coming out of halftime, Rutgers wants to be more physical with the Cornell Dodge. Might be the smartest player on the field, and when you're an offensive player on the break, you attack a poor approach. Rutgers off the face shot. Erwin denies Bartolo. Need the ball on his stick. His moves when other guys have the ball, the subtle things like the defender turns his back for what? Just a fraction of a second. Pia Kelly's gone. Clark, when we saw him in the Ivy League tournament, we equated his game to that of a YMCA basket. And Pia Kelly now one goal away from tying Cornell's single season record. The wings help Mark Silos out. Cornell wins another faceoff. This Cornell team is really. Cornell has been a breeding ground of sorts for a lot of coaches over the last 10, 15 years. Mark Silos wins the draw for the Big Red. Timeout, NCAA era. And it was Cornell, led by Richie Miranda, head coach, Open Maryland. Petrakis wins the faceoff, saved by Kirst as we go down. But we saw even in the Ivy Championships when Yale was short sticking Michael Long and daring him to beat them as a Dodger. How many times have we seen this guy who's categorized as a face of the of the offense in terms of quarterback? Middle schooler as a midi and eventually an LSM. And he's been Rutgers' top cover guy. All eyes on Duhenio now for the Scarlet Knights. Silos wins the faceoff. That has been an Achilles heel for Rutgers all season long. And if you've got any chance to make this close, you have to win faceoffs. Now it's Piatelli, too, to put your name next to Mike French. It's amazing. French is also the career goals leader at Cornell. Now, Piatelli's not getting there as Rutgers gets one back down to Kulis. Once they get that transfer portal rolling, their player development internally has been outstanding as well. I agree, Clint. And Kulis, I think, could be a starter. They put him in in that game last week against Penn. Legacy and the memory of their dad. Cornell is going to win this game. But this is a moment the Kirst family will cherish to see their two sons Playing on Mitch Rothstein, their third faceoff man at the X against Michael Ott for Rutgers. Two minutes to go. Out of bounds to Rutgers. Cornell will play Maryland or Princeton. State, Ohio State, Rutgers, Maryland, and Hopkins now all appearing in championship weekend since Big Ten lacrosse started. And cue for Rutgers, this team, they may not love the way this season ended, but they will be together forever. The first